Okay, I'm still working on this fish animation, and I'll show you what I got right so far here. And I'll show you what I did is I managed to get the um, fish to swim here nice and slowly and kind of move up and down. And I'm just playing with it, just hacking away at it. And then I got him flipping here and then come back and then he speeds up and then the background disappears. So I got some work to do. But I'm going to go back and show you where I was at. And that way um, we can do this together. So um, here's the animation so far, right? And where I left it off before is the text comes out and the fish swims and he's he's just moving way too fast, right? So that's uh, too fast. So what I want to do is, it's pretty easy it looks like. All I have to do is click on this last part of, the anim of this motion tween and I'm just going to drag it, stretch it out. Okay, and that's going to slow it down. And I'll stretch it out till let's say 140. Okay. Now and then right here, like if I want it to slow down in different parts, I could say, well, at the end I want him to slow down. I'll just go to where the fish is here and just drag him over here. Okay. And so now you can see there's it's going to be much slower at the end here. And I can then tweak that if I want. It's going to be a little bit faster here, and then he's going to slow down here, right? So um that's essentially what's going to happen. And then if I want to add more motion to it at the end, what I can do is um, I'll go out here to like 165, right? Hit F6 and put a keyframe and then just move him up a little bit, right? Um, and now he goes to the end of the swim. Oh, no, that didn't work like that. Nope, no good. I didn't like that at all. So let's see here. Edit undo, control Z. Alright, so I want to add some more at the end. Let's see here. Insert keyframe. Let's see here. Right here. F6. Right, and then put the cursor at the end and then move him up. So that adds on to the end. Then I can actually curve this to be part of the motion, right? And at the end here, then on the next part, at some point, like in the middle, uh, let's see here. Maybe like right here, I will um, flip him. So modify, transform, flip horizontal and so now he's here and he's going to from this positional um, sub keyframe he um, uh, transforms and flips horizontally to the next one and now it's just a matter of me swimming him back across the stage so I could just go here hit F6 right put the keyframe at the end put the playhead at the end and then drag him to the next position that I want him at. Curve the um, curve the uh, the motion guide. That's what we'd call this, right? This is like a, a motion guide. And then I could jump out ahead here. Put a keyframe on 250 here, F6, to put a keyframe. Now move the playhead over there. That's important. Put this red line over here. Then drag him to where you want him and then bend the motion guide however you want it to be bent um, I want it to be kinda curved like that and then over here I'd like it to bend up a little bit but well that's good enough right now okay I'm gonna scroll out here drag um, hold down my spacebar and move the window over here and go out here to 295 and hit F6. Put the playhead over here, like by clicking right here again. And then drag him some more. And I can also play with how the um, how it's going to 
how it'll animate across and I'm not that great with it yet I'm just kinda hacking away now my background disappeared way back on frame 100 you see the bottom two layers ended so I go to the end of my animation right I can even click and drag and highlight these bottom two keyframes right click insert frame and now the background will show up all the way to the end I hit control enter and this is my animation Okay, fish swims across, slows down, flips over, and swims back. Now, he kind of pauses there, um, and, and definitely the motion is not fluid, and there's probably a million things I'm not doing right, and I should probably watch the tutorials. <laughs> that might help if I actually watch the tutorials figure that, you know, because this is all new for me. This CS4 way of doing this motion tweening is all brand new for me. Um, you think it's, it's, it's probably it's new for you too, probably. And, uh, and I just need to, um, you know, play with it and, uh, you know, figure it out some more. You know, and see if I can get some more action into the animation. I'm just fooling around and see what happens. I'm going to be happy with whatever happens. The fish is swimming, you know. I just don't want any dead spots. I like him to, you know, always be constantly moving and not stop per se. But the the goal is to get good at controlling this motion guide and adding little positional sub keyframes to the motion. So he swims across and he swims back probably doesn't do exactly what I want him to do, especially not there. I could zoom in here and take a look at what the problem is. Uh, I drag him back onto the stage, okay, and curve these things so that they're not so obnoxious. Okay. What I don't want him to do is to go off stage because we'll notice it. See right there he goes off stage and so what I'd like to do is um, not have him go off stage. So and moving all these little um, positional uh, keyframes is becoming a real pain. I'm probably not doing this correctly and it's making for um, problems for me here. So got to figure out how to work with that and the only way I'm going to do that is by really watching the tutorial and, um, and figuring out see is I'm not really controlling it the right way but good enough for right now